Hello, I was doing uh, video lessons for Excel A information technology subject and I have uploaded uh, lesson videos with practice questions and also past paper videos. Uh, there were many requests from students asking to upload lessons for IGCSE ICT as well. Uh, I was postponing as there was hardly no time but finally thought to start on the IGCC lessons from today onwards. So this is the first video. Uh, for Excel IGCSE ICT subject, here I'll be taking you through the syllabus or the uh, of the specification, uh, so you know what you will learn in ICT, and I'll be adding all the lessons and practice questions at the end of the lessons, so you will find easy when you sit for the exam. So subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon, uh, so you will not miss any lesson when I keep on adding. So let's see what's there for us to learn in IGCSC ICT. <clears throat> uh, at the right side, you will see the ICT subject specification given by Excel. Uh, so I will guide you on high level the exam paper structure and the topics we need to cover according to this specification. This is the latest, latest one. Right. Before starting, Let's see why learning ICT is a wise choice. Uh, ICT is a versatile subject like, I mean, no matter what field you are planning to do your job, you, your knowledge in the computers and information technology is really important. Like even if you are planning to become a doctor, engineer, designer, marketer, teacher, scientist, uh, whoever, you always need to have the IT knowledge to perform the jobs now. So it's a wise choice to select ICT in your IGCSC. Uh, apart from that, if you're planning to do IT in Edexcel A-level syllabus, having done ICT in your IGCSC really gives you the added advantage. Okay, so let's go through the Edexcel syllabus and see what it covers. Right. Uh, subject name goes as Information and Communication Technology. You'll refer it as ICT. And the subject code is for IT1. Uh, the first examination conducted based on this new specification is in summer, uh, June 2019. So there aren't many past papers available for this subject. Therefore, we will try to do more practice questions in each lesson. Uh, yeah, these are the main units in the syllabus. Uh, topics 1, 2, 3, 4. That is digital devices, connectivity, operating online and online goods and services are for the written paper which is paper one and then topic five and six applying ICT and software skills are practical lessons and they will come in your practical paper, which is paper two. Let's see what we have to cover in these six units in high level before we dive into the lessons. In unit one, there are three chapters, uh, digital devices, software, uh, memory and processors. Students need to know about the uh, range of digital devices available, uh, the developments in the features and functionality of digital devices. Uh, I mean, we, uh, because these are like rapidly developing, right? So you need to uh, have an idea of the uh, current digital devices, the technologies, <coughs> and also the principles of these devices. And to be, uh, you need to be able to select suitable devices and uh, the hardware and software to be used in particular situations like in the exam you will be given a real life scenario like a banking application or a computer lab or something like that they'll give a scenario and ask you to decide on you know, suitable hardware devices and software and give your justifications to your answer so you need to uh, use the knowledge that you are learning in these uh, chapters to answer that sort of questions and students need to know the types of software used in digital devices uh, they need to be able to identify the differences between system software and then different types of application software and uh, uh, and the licensing options such as free, open source and proprietary and also need to know about different memory types, RAM, ROM, flash memory, there are differences, what time uh, when we are using that and the storage devices. Uh, and the processors and how the processor speed is measured like uh, those are the things that we will learn under unit one and in unit two students need to know and understand the ways the digital devices 
exchange data and communicate with each other and also with other larger systems. Uh, you need to learn like wired communication methods, wireless methods, and you will learn on different types of networks such as WAN, LAN, MAN, and PAN, uh, meaning wide area networks, local area networks, metropolitan area ne networks, and personal area networks. <coughs> Uh, you will also learn how satellite works, Bluetooth works, how tethering works, and the differences of those methods. And then uh, under network chapter, you will learn on how digital devices are identified in network using the, like, uh, we are identified from our uh, SSN or the uh, national identification number or something like that based on different countries. In digital, uh, digital world, the uh, devices are identified using uh, their IP address and uh, MAC address and you will learn components of computer networks such as router, wireless access point, booster, switch, server and etc. Like. So you will learn on two main uh, network models, client server and peer-to-peer -peer networks and their usage on different scenarios. Uh, yeah, And at the end you will learn how to uh, secure a network using different methods. In unit three, you will learn the risk uh, to individuals and organizations of uh, operating online. Like there are so many benefits you will learn uh, because it's online and then uh, you will learn uh, the risk and the problems as well. And then you will learn how to manage and minimize this risk. Uh, and you need to know the impact of internet to individuals, organizations, and also the, to, to the society. Then we need to know the implications of the use of digital technology, such as uh, legal implications, health and uh, safety issues, and best practices, uh, data privacy implications, uh, copyright implications, etc. Like you will uh, learn in detail on those issues. You will learn on different techniques to uh, secure your data networks, such as how to use firewall, uh, encryption techniques, strong password, uh, you uh, capture two-way authentication, and etc. Like uh, you will learn on those techniques as well. In Unit Four, you will learn different types of uh, online services. Now we are at this uh, age, uh, you are also familiar with using a uh, lot of online services because you are also using shopping sites uh, and then learning management uh, tools and techniques and uh, teleconferencing, video calls, booking systems for travel, leisure and entertainment and digital banking and online training uh, likewise. Then we need to learn how these online services affect individuals, businesses, and society. Also, we will learn how cloud services and cloud storage help us to serve these online services better. Uh, the differences between cloud uh, and on-premise and why cloud is needed, the benefits of cloud and at the at disadvantages. Like as you will learn how cloud and cloud storage uh, are used. So up to now, uh, we discuss unit one, two, three, and four, and those are the units we need to study for paper one. Uh, unit five and six are for the second paper, which is a practical test. So unit five, uh, in this one, uh, this is a small unit, and it just gives you an introduction why you need practical experience and what is expected. And this unit will tell why it is important to learn software on this uh, categories like file and folder management, how to write, uh, make a document, how to write the mail, how to do mail merging, how to create a database, how to do a presentation, uh, why we need to do presentations and what are the best practices when doing presentation, how to manage your data in a spreadsheet, how to, uh, how to make uh, calculations and make tables. So the practical usage, why it is important and uh, uh, the different types of application software. We actually learn different software in unit one. So they are also, it gives the foundation for this chapter. Okay, in the last unit, that is unit six, students need to demonstrate skills uh, in using the software applications for this uh, task for file management, word processing, 
graphics presentation web authoring spreadsheets uh, database management so uh, such as like uh, to learn the word processing software such as microsoft word uh, you need to you know how to use ms word to do uh, different uh, documents uh, let's for an example uh, to write a letter make a poster something like that they will give scenarios and you will need to uh, create those and graphic software such as paint gimp or compose and then presentations of uh, software such as microsoft powerpoint and create a presentation and uh, because uh, this is a practical paper so it comes with a mix of questions that you will have to use the software and get your answers uh, let's discuss this in detail when we do uh, paper discussion videos later on. Uh, next, we will see the paper structure also a bit and find out this introductory le uh, lesson. Okay, the structure of the paper. Paper 1 is a written paper I mentioned to you earlier. It carries 50% of the total marks. So, it gives uh, equal marks for paper 1 and paper 2. Uh, and you get questions from unit 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, the paper has a mixture of multiple choice questions, short and long answer questions. And paper duration is 1 hour and uh, 30 minutes. Second paper is a practical paper. Uh, it has 50% of total mark just like paper 1. And then you need to learn unit 5 and 6 to do this paper. The paper duration is 3 hours. Uh, for this paper you need to have a lot of practice uh even if you know everything you have to uh play with the time because it's a time critical uh, paper uh, and you need to learn shortcuts uh, quick techniques as uh, i mean i practically know more students who are really capable who know all the tools but still go run over time because they haven't practiced much so uh, if we really practice with the time uh, this is actually a easy paper uh, Personally, I prefer the paper too. Right. Okay. So now we know an overview of edX IGCSC ICT subject uh, and also the paper structure. So if you have any questions, please ask in a comment. And if you are planning to take the subject, remember to subscribe. So you will uh, get all the future lessons and the questions. So uh, let's meet again with the first lesson. Until then, goodbye and good luck.